guys, I'm Tanya, and today I'm gonna do a new episode of Ask Tanya. It has been six months since my last one, so I figured it was about time. I asked you guys on Instagram and Twitter to send me questions, and today I'm gonna answer them. Let's get started. Actually, wait, before we get started, I wanna mention that I was featured in a really awesome video in a series on YouTube called Pride in a Word by Kinda TV. Kinda TV asked what pride meant to me in just one word, and I answered that and so much more in this video. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out and follow all of their things. They're a really awesome channel, and they post really awesome content on Twitter and Instagram as well. Being in this video meant so much to me, so if you go over to that video and comment over there, I will reply to all of your comments. Thank you again, Kinda TV, for having me. You guys mean the world to me. All right, now let's actually get started. We're gonna start off with the one question that I am the most afraid to answer. <laughs> Prank call the person you're seeing right now. So this person and I have actually never talked on the phone before because neither of us like talking on the phone. So this is gonna be quite interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna call her and ask her out on a date to a wedding store. And we talked on our very first date together that neither of us were wedding people. So I feel like this will freak her out, maybe, hopefully. I mean, also hopefully not. All right, enough talking, let's call her. <sighs> okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Hello? Hey beautiful, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Um, I have a couple questions for you. <laughs> good. First, <laughs> do you want to go on a date this week? Yes, I'd love to go on a date. Second of all, I think we should go to the wedding store because I want to marry you and I feel like it's time to take that step in our relationship. I can't do it. I'm sweating so bad. This was for a video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you didn't even believe it for a millisecond? I really didn't, no. Oh, dang. It's like there must be some reason behind this. I'm sorry that I did all this. It's nice to hear your voice. Oh, what the heck? Why are you so cute? I can't. I have to actually go powder my face right now. That was too much. That was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. What's your favorite back to when Disney was a good channel show? Literally every single show they used to play on Disney Channel. My top five though would probably be Boy Meets World, Zoe 101, Lizzie McGuire, That's So Raven, and Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. They have a very special place in my heart. How do you introduce yourself to other gays? Hey, I'm gay. The funny thing is I'm not even kidding, but only when I'm I'm really confident that they're also in the spectrum. How many tattoos did you get in a span of one year? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oops. If you could have acted in a movie, what movie would it be and who would you play? The Hunger Games or Catching Fire would have been really cool to be in, except I don't feel like I'd be qualified enough to be any of the main characters, so I'd probably be this random kid from like District 20, eating a hash brown on top of a tree, surviving the world one hash brown at a time. If you could go back in time and achieve a goal or learn a skill that you never did or will ever be able to do, what would it be and why would you do it? Playing acoustic guitar or being able to draw anything because my art skills are very bad. Guitar because I've always wanted to be that person who's just hanging out on the beach strumming along to a guitar and all these people just come and sit with me and that's how you make friends. Is that how guitar people make friends? I don't know. When are you not wearing your gay clothes? You guys might actually be surprised to learn that I'm not wearing my usual black jeans with holes in them today. Whoa, bam Although these are men's shorts. But to answer your question, literally never. What is the worst thing Sploot has done? Funny enough, this actually happened right before I started filming this video. I took Sploot out to go get the mail without a leash as per usual because he always listens and walks with me right to the mailbox and back. Ho 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 ho, not today. As soon as I closed the mailbox, another dog was walking by way down the street. And Sploot normally would not run after the dog, but today he literally looked me in the eye and then ran. And not just ran on the sidewalk, I mean ran in the very middle of the street where giant vehicles drive by, like Sploot, what are you doing? After calling him over and over again to come, stay, wait, all the commands, he still wouldn't listen and he kept running. When I finally caught up to him and the other dog owner, I had to pick him up and carry him all the way home. He will definitely be staying on the leash from now on. What's the first picture on your phone? Yikes. I honestly have no idea, so this is gonna be great. But I do know that it's actually the first picture I've ever taken on my very first cell phone. They all just synced over as I switched phones, so let's find out. Let's see here. 
Oh no. I really don't want to show this photo on the internet. Fingers crossed that the person that I'm seeing doesn't see this video and this picture. Yep. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is the worst photo of me. Fetus Tanya is super real. Ew, my hair looks so bad. What is this? Netflix suggestions, Riverdale, 13 Reasons Why, Grey's Anatomy, and The Walking Dead. Do you have any advice on how to survive high school? High school is only three or four years long, depending on where you live, and it'll be over before you know it. So make sure you make all those friends from other groups outside of your own, join the sports team, join some clubs, make the most out of your high school experience, and don't let any anyone try to bring you down from that. Also be on the good sides of all your teachers. How do you come up with video ideas? Usually they just happen from me spotting something happening in public or someone bringing up a story and then me turning that into a video idea. Will this be in your video? Maybe. Do you remember that straight YouTuber from 2010 named the Skylit Avenue? Who is she? Do you love me? Sarah, I am so in love. Can we get married? Brendan, I was ready to marry you yesterday. Sarah and Brendan are actually my really good YouTube friends, so if you want to check them out, you should also click on them in the links down below. How did you feel when you came out? The whole six months leading up to when I knew I was gonna post the video was terrifying. Actually, the day of the video was the hardest one yet. Knowing that in just a few minutes everyone would know was terrifying, so I totally understand. But all that fear disappeared by the end of the day when I saw the amazing response. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Honestly, I think I have somewhere around 16 pairs of Vans, 3 pairs of Converse, 2 Doc Martens, 6 pairs of dress shoes, 50 billion flip-flops. The answer is a lot. <laughs> do you have any advice for people that are still figuring out who they are? Honestly, be open to everything and test the waters. I know it might seem super terrifying and scary the first time you ever do anything, but trust me, if you just go for it, you'll be happier in the long run. It also helps to surround yourself with other people in the LGBTQ plus community. Being around them will open your eyes to this whole new world. What's your favorite tattoo? I have some new ones now, actually, since you guys have last seen an update video about them. Probably... Ooh, I feel like I'm cheating on the others if I pick one. Either this one or this one. Who is your favorite security guard and why? Oh, you know, just the person who actually asked me this question, Matt from Much. Can this be the last question? Nope. So that is all for today's video. Be sure you give it a giant thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Comment down below any questions you have for the next round of my Q&A series. And be sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and all those fun social media things down there. Because I did change my username on everything when I renamed slash rebranded my whole channel. So thanks for all your questions and for watching. And I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye!